So there were 17 seats up for grabs here, accounts with a total of 48 seats. Labour took 13 of those seats. That might sound like a bit of a drubbing, but in fact, this was the Conservatives losing four, Labour gaining four, and the Lib Dems gaining one as an independent lost a seat. This has given Labour 26 seats in a council of 48 seats, so a slim majority, as you said. This particular council only just went under Conservative control a year ago. So there is cause for cautious celebration among the Labour Party. Now, Southampton is what is known as a bellwether city. That means that it often changes the colour of its MP along with a changing government. So it's a brilliant place to use as a litmus paper for public opinion. And that is what I have been doing today, speaking to the people of Southampton. I normally do vote in previous elections, but not, not this time I didn't. I'm personally not a fan of Keir Starmer and I'm not a great fan of Boris Johnson either, so that was one reason for not voting. Do you mind me asking whether you voted yesterday in the local elections? Yes, yeah. And do you mind me asking who you voted for? Conservative. And have you always traditionally voted Conservative? No, not always. What motivated you to back the Tories this time? Well, who wants Labour in? They messed it up last time they were in, so they've messed it up again. And that small, me bloody, um, what's his name? Uh, oh, forgets his name now. The one in, who's running Labour. He ain't got hope now. I would have voted Conservative, but what's been happening, your party gate and all that, you know, I just couldn't bring myself around to that. So I thought, well, shall I vote for Labour? No, because they're not going to get in. But So it's Liberal Democrats. And you, did you do much the same thing? My twin brother, so I, can I need tell. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what do you think twins do? Do the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, done, I voted. I mustn't tell him, but li Liberal Democrat. <laughs> Well, worth noting there that the Liberal Democrats did pick up a seat, uh, by many regarded as a protest vote. Now, it's interesting that in that particular ward, the turnout was relatively high. Otherwise, a turnout of around, let's say, a quarter to a third, what you might expect. But as you heard from those Vox Pops, the mood of the nation, it seems like a lot of people are just disincentivized when it comes to voting. Nobody really getting very excited about a particular party. And the mood of the people I've spoken to here, very much reflecting the front pages this morning, a lot of talk of the cost of living crisis. Echoes of comments actually given by Royston Smith, who is the Conservative MP for Southampton, Itchin. He's saying that actually people feeling the pinch might have been a motivating factor. And certainly I get the impression that yes, people have turned out to vote Labour, but perhaps here what has happened is Conservative voters have stayed at home.